that Cleopatra invited Caesar on a lavish trip on the river so that she could work her charms on him. Egyptian civilization would probably not have existed had it not been for the generous Nile and her floodwaters. Before the construction of the Aswan High Dam, these waters inundated the country from July to September, transforming the valley into huge farmlands. Boats also transported stone blocks for the pharaohs, building projects on the Nile as well. We embark on our cruise at Aswan, at the gateway to Nubia. After several days in Upper Egypt, we will arrive at Luxor, the site of ancient Thebes. But we begin our journey in Northern Egypt, in Cairo to be exact. El Cahira, the victorious, was founded in the 10th century by the Tunisian Caliph of Kairouan. In the 13th century, under the rule of the Mamluks, former slaves from the Black Sea and Caucasus region, the city reached its pinnacle of glory. With its wealth of palaces and mosques, Cairo outclassed Baghdad as the new city of the Thousand and One Nights. Cairo, a gigantic metropolis, spreads out over the Nile's right bank and is today one of the largest cities in Africa and the Near East, counting nearly 20 million inhabitants. However, close to 2,000 years after the passing of the last pharaoh, ancient Egypt and its royalty continue to fascinate both the millions of tourists who visit the Nile